what's going on everybody welcome to owner exotics youtube channel and i hope you're having a great day um today i want to talk to you about something that i seen on a thread on facebook yes on facebook i had another video that was going to be uploaded in the place of this one and i seen that thread and i said man i have to record another video i need to record a video and i need to get it up about this topic this topic is who do you look up to in the reptile hobby or who has influenced you in the reptile hobby now there are so many names that has influenced owner exotics and myself or gary um that the list goes on i honestly feel that influencing me and building me is one person put a block here one person put a block here one person put a block here and they built who i am but i put a name on that thread and a lot of people might not even know who that person is and that in itself is kind of wow the name i put on that thread was don hamper don hamper passed away i want to say a year and a week ago and i have not vended one of his shows in about 10 years because i've moved out of ohio um and the hampers run the Cleveland show and the Columbus show. But that's just not all Don Hamper is. If you don't know who Don Hamper is, I, I recommend just searching his name on Google. Uh, Don Hamper is an amazing, amazing guy. He built the start of me. And I'm telling you, it, the, the man was my Steve Irwin. I know some people are going to be like, well, you know, roll. I, I'm telling you, Don Hamper was my equivalent to most people, Steve Irwin. Um, I was lucky enough to know my teacher, my legend, my hero, and I could talk to him all the time. And the biggest thing that I've seen in this thread, the, the uh, most awesome thing I've seen in this thread is a lot of people are posting these names that's influenced them. And I'm seeing... The people post someone's name and that person posting saying, well, you influenced me and they're influencing each other and they're, you know, people are looking up to each other and the same names are being tossed out there. And I posted on that thread. I said, look, the lines are not being drawn anymore. We're all building the same castle together. We're all building our own castles together. Um, it's just an amazing thing to see. And I wanted to talk about this a little bit. Um, that who, who is your biggest influence? Who is the person that pushed you to be better? I want you to comment below. I want you to tell me a story. I want you to tell me anything. It was it your mom. Was it your dad, your brother, your sister? Was it the guy down the road? Was it someone on TV? Was it someone you met at a reptile expo who influenced you positive, uh, positively, I gotta be able to talk positively in the reptile hobby. Now, Don Hamper, it, it, I've said the story on radio shows and everything else. Don Hamper gave me a jungle carpet python back in the day. Um, another person hooked me up with a carpet python, and his name is Brian Barczyk. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to vend these shows before YouTube, before everyone was famous and doing this and that. These were just a bunch of guys that, or should I say guys and girls, sorry guys and girls there's a lot of girls there um that loved animals and um the mark kim bell was there eco was there um like i said brian barcheck a bhb was set up there um you know the hampers just it was a fun time every month i look forward to it as a young punk kid to going to this show but don hamper hook me up with the jungle carpet python and walk me through breeding it walk me through it guys um i bred them snakes and uh he put that if you if you will that line with that worm on it and i was a fish just swimming around thinking i knew everything and said hey look you come this way i'll teach you and he caught me and he taught me and um I could never thank him enough because he put the foundation down to build who I am in the reptile world. Um, 
Don Hamper is an ama it was an amazing. Uh, there's n nothing I could put into words to say how amazing he is. Um, when I vended his shows, he always made sure he walked around and he said hi to me. Always, there was never a show I vended I didn't say hi to him. Um, he would come up and we would talk a little bit. We would talk about something I produced or anything. It, it just he he was always engaged. And if I always if I had a question or uh, you know needed advice, he was there. He was there to do it for me. So. Uh, I want to know who influenced you, who's been your hero, your your legend in your life. And, you know, like I said, comment below. Um, I do have a lot of other videos coming out. Um, these can be short. These can be long videos. Um, it matters on the topic. Um, I do have some videos that are going to be controversial, um, but I'm going to try to keep them all positive um, because, like it or not, the reptile world's small, and we all know each other. You know, like all the breeders kind of know each other, know each other's names, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I want to keep this as a positive show. And I want to keep this as a positive thing. You're going to see me put up, when I'm talking to you, different videos. I'm going to put up maybe a video of my Blue Tongue Skinks. I might put up a video of the Nile Monitor or, you know, whatever. I'm going to do videos with me talking to you about. I might talk to you when I'm taking care of the Sulcata tortoises. Um... Today is a little different because I had to sit down and I wanted to talk to the camera because of this thread that Mickey Meyer put up. Who is your hero? Who I I forget what he, how he worded it, but it's like who do you look up to in the reptile? Who, who was it? And um, mine was Don Hamper. Um, Don Hamper, a hundred percent. I'll never forget what he's done for me. And I can go on days and stories and tell you tons of stuff. Uh, about Don Hamper as many uh, many people that's going to be watching this is going to be able to tell you. So um, future episodes I do have coming out. I have uh, 10 episodes for this series already done and edited, ready to be uploaded. Like I said, had an idea for, uh, it was supposed to be another video today. I was just going to come home and upload it. And that didn't happen because I this topic took over. Um, to go over me. So that's why I did this. Um, and then on the animal series, I already have 14 videos already edited and ready to go. So I don't know if I'm going to upload them up on Thursdays or Fridays. I am not totally sure yet. It might be Saturdays. I'm not totally sure on the day there. But every Tuesday, you guys are going to get the talking head with some videos of some animals. And we're going to be going over some different types of topics. It's probably going to take over for the radio show. Um, five to 15 minute snippets of me talking to you guys and then you guys interacting with me and telling me what you think. So today I want you to tell me who influenced you. Who do you look up to? Comment below and let's have some fun. All right guys, I'm out.